Listen, man, He Gay Hero Episode 8 was spectacular. We got to learn a lot about Sayu's past, and that was really, really important. We found out that her brother is not a scumbag. Her brother was a real one, a real stand-up guy, and a stand-up family member. We found out that her mom was a piece of <laughs> blaming her for her homie's death, and her homie killed herself. I didn't even get to that part yet. Her homie offed herself because she was being bullied for being her friend. How is that even a thing? The fact that that all transpired was ridiculous. And now we are at a crossroads. What is Yoshida gonna do? Is he gonna be there for her through this time of peril? Is he gonna help her transition back into a regular life? What is Sayu gonna do? How is she gonna take back going to be with her mom? What's the rest of the homies gonna do? It's so much that's gonna transpire and I don't know how to put all that into words. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? It's Damo Senpai, and this is the start of my content-heavy week. We're about to go crazy with content this week. And let me tell you, my TikTok is taking off further than I thought it was going to be. So if you guys want to go over and support me on TikTok, link is in the description. You know the link tree. The link tree will also help you subscribe to the channel, which is very, very, very important. All my social medias are in that link below. So do yourself a favor, strap in, come chill with the homies, I gotta come up with a name for y'all because I don't even know what to name y'all yet. But, you know, we'll, we'll do that later. They went in depth. And I'm gonna be honest here, right? I'm gonna be completely honest. I thought Sayu has been away from home for at least like a year or two. But it's only been like a month. Well, probably longer than that now that she's been kicking it with Yoshida and whatnot. So it's probably been longer than that. But yeah, it hasn't been long since she left home. And all the trials and tribulations that she dealt with just from leaving home and how hard that was for her the most interesting part is the fact that well at least to me that was interesting is that she was willing to sit down right she was willing to sit down it didn't take for somebody to say something to her she understood herself like look it's a lot on the line I don't have much time left. We ha I have to tell you guys about what I went through not that long ago. What caused me to go to such great lengths to leave my house. Her brother is a stand-up guy. He said, look, I got you a week at best. Yoshida said two days. Issa was like, nah, look, I could prolong that. I could give you guys a week, you know, to think things over just for you to come home. And in this week, I can see her going to hang out with Goto, going to hang out with Mishima. Granted, you know, Mishima been on some bullshit lately. But she'll probably go kick it with Mishima because they have similar instances with Yoshida. I'll say it like that. Similar instances with Yoshida. Last week, I was hella upset because I thought her brother was going to be on some fuckery. But he wasn't. He was just on some cool, I got to protect my sister. Look, I got you. Here's 300,000 yen. Go stay in a hotel for a little bit, a real hotel. Get away from the house and then let me know when you need to come back. That's how cool that was. But Sayu being a kid and also dealing with a traumatic experience at the same time of her homie dying right in front of her, jumping off a building. She wasn't in the right mental state to just like have all that money and be tasked with such responsibility. I understand why things went south. And then she, like I said, she's a young kid. So when she was telling the story of how it started, of how she just started sleeping with random dudes just to have a place to stay, you were just like, holy shit. This this, this all makes sense. It all makes sense. And I think that's the, I think that's the important thing that I took away from it. Everything makes sense now. Like it made sense kind of earlier on, but when you get a full explanation of what the fuck was going on, it didn't even leave me with one of those. Oh, we're going to give you a hell of a lot of information. That's going to answer some of your questions. And then all of a sudden we're going to throw you some information that you don't know nothing about. And then you'll have more questions. No, it didn't do that. It just cleared up a lot of the misunderstandings that we had earlier in the series as to how Sayu got to present day Sayu, right? It cleared cleared up any misconception of her brother being something. It cleared up any misconception of some weird shit going on at the house in regards to why Sayu is the way she is. Nah, she ended up that way on her own by making terrible decisions based off of those terrible circumstances. So all of that happened. They bullied the helpless little homie Yuko. Bullied to shit, which is crazy that they didn't bully Sayu at all. They just left her alone. They bullied Yuko into jumping off the fucking school. I take back what I said earlier. 
really, right? About giving us information and then like, you know, giving us like things that we're gonna have to question. What the, what happened to all the girls that was bullying Yuko into killing herself? Where are they now? What's going on with them? Are they like cool with that? This also pegs the question. Is Sayu gonna go back to school? Is she like, when she goes back home, is she gonna reconcile with her mother? Is she gonna go back to school and like try to live her life normally? Or is she gonna stay in Yoshida's area? And what is Yoshida gonna do? It's so much that he can do, right? It's so much that he can do in this situation to fix things, right? But I think the most responsible way to do this is to be like, look, I'll travel home with you talk it out with your moms get y'all situated because like i said the brother trusts yoshida he has great intentions they could just go have a talk and then you know square things off and let sayu go live her life that is the best thing you can do at this point in time but overall hell of an episode man it was a hell of an episode i love information i love when i have one of those information ass episodes where things are explained to me and i could be like holy shit because i figured things out really well on my own anyway but just to have confirmation in a lot of the things that i've already thought helps a shit ton leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new make sure if y'all want to support Support me in this time of need because it's a, it's a hella crazy time right now. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Go over to my TikTok, follow me, like the videos, share the videos, do whatever you gotta do. Stitch the damn videos, react to the damn videos, do all of that because all of that is important in where I'm trying to go this week. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff popping this week, so let's get to the content. I'm 100% sold. I ain't got shit else to do, so why not? Was there anything that they left out in the anime that was in the light novel? Make sure you let me know in the comment section as well. It's always fun to do that. I always love getting y'all little tidbits. And with that being said, it's your boy, Damo Senpai, and I will see you guys in the next video.